A Qi charger that's also a portable power bank? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at Qi chargers again. I have an iPhone 10, and I really like wireless charging. So I look at a lot of these devices. Now, if you have a Samsung and there's a couple others that also do wireless Qi charging, it's super cool. Imagine, you just put your phone on a surface and it starts charging. It is ridiculously cool and easy. Now, what MePow has done with their PowerCube 10, I assume it's not pronounced PowerCube X, their PowerCube 10 is really cool. So they have this big, charging pad that is certainly suitable to have on your desk and you can put your phone on it even in the case it is charging wirelessly big win but what makes this really unique is that you can pull this out and now you actually have this power bank it's a 5000 milliamp hour power bank so that's good and it's a power bank that has qi charging so i can do this and it's charging and when I'm ready, I just put them in separate pockets and I'm ready to keep going. So it's a power bank where you don't have to fuss with the wires. What a huge win. Now, let's talk about it just a little bit. So the power bank itself actually has a little indicator so you can see how charged it is. 5,000 milliamps should give you, oh, probably two full charges of your iPhone or Samsung phone. This is 2.7 inches by 5.5 inches. And now let's talk about the charging base. First off, you see there's an LED here that shows you if it's red, then, whoops, if it's red, then I put that in correctly, then it's telling me that it's charging the power bank. Blue means it's either fully charged or it's not present. Either way, that's fine. And then what's also interesting about it is on the back, let me unplug it, on the back you have a USB-C and it comes with a USB-C cable but it doesn't come with a charger. So BYOC, bring your own charger, or of course you can plug it into your computer as you desire. And it, but it additionally has a USB 3 plug, so you can use this as part of a daisy chain, which is great. If you have a computer that doesn't have a lot of USB plugs, you can plug this in and then daisy chain something out of it so you haven't lost a plug. So much smart, so much good design. Now the base itself is fairly big at four by seven inches, but as you can see, it's really a nice design and they've just done so much right. It's super light, which is nice. And it's something that in black or in white, the white's even nicer actually. Um, this is something that even an executive can have sitting on their desk at work and it's just very nice and elegant. You drop this in, you let it fully charge and whenever you need to, you grab it and you've got a couple of extra charges for your phone. So crazy smart. Now, also comes with foreign object protection and overcharge protection. You want those because if I put a non-Qi charging device on here, I don't want this to end up running out of battery because it's desperately trying to charge your phone. It doesn't do that, which is good. And in terms of the charge itself, it definitely does a full standard Qi charge. I plugged it in with a Quick Charge 3, didn't seem to make much difference, and my Quick Charge gave me a 26% charge on the iPhone 10 in an hour. That's pretty typically how fast Qi charging works on the iPhone. On the very latest generation of Samsungs, they can pull it a little faster, so they can charge it a little faster, but this is not the fastest way in the world to charge, it's just the most convenient. Now, the only other thing I wanna say is when I see the ads that MePow has for this product, they show people doing this and talking like that, and I gotta say, from a health perspective, I'm pretty darn sure this is a bad idea. You know, truth be told, this isn't a great idea, and you can do your own Google research on that, but when you add wireless charging, you've got just that much more going on right by your brain. That's not how I'm gonna use this product, so I'm gonna definitely just have it sitting on a table, and I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna charge. Now, the only other thing I wanna say is that the top is slightly curved and it's very slippery because it's such a lovely design and they've done so much with it, but that does mean that if my phone vibrates, I could easily see it vibrating and falling off. So that is something you wanna take into account. It obviously works through cases. Maybe there's maybe, I don't know, a couple of little bit of rubber strips that you could put on here as you desire, and that would certainly make it stay on a whole lot 
lot better, but not necessary. Just something that I've experienced as I've been using the product. Having said that, I really like this. This is a really great design. It's very elegant. It's very professional. This is absolutely something I can see someone pulling out of their $400 handbag and charging their, you know, really beautiful, expensive smartphone while they're at some big power meeting in Manhattan or something. This is not the bottom of the barrel budget solution. This is a high-end solution for people that are willing to pay a little more for a really nice, elegant um, solution. There we go. <laughs> anyway, before I go any further and tell you the price, let me ask if you can click on that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if this is beneficial and useful or even just entertaining. I really appreciate that. Now, this MePow PowerCube 10 charging pad and power bank will cost you $75 at MePow.com. It comes in black, as you can see, and they also have a very nice white solution. So either way, if you do Qi charging and you are on the road occasionally or even just out at meetings or trade shows, this is a really, really interesting solution and I would check it out if I were you. And with that, I will catch you in my next video.